today we are going to talk about um, the Serato DJ Pro interface um, crates and um, smart crates. So, um, as you can see right now, um, I don't have my hardware plugged in. So you have this thing right here that says analyze files. What that does is when you take a song and drag it in there, it reads the song, it puts the BPM, it adds the key, and yeah, that's the main thing that I want. For it. it also builds the, um, the actual wavelengths for the entire song. Um, another thing I wanted to show people that a lot of people don't really understand is how to manipulate these things for your best interest, right? Um, just like having BPM, if you hit BPM, everything is going to be in BPM order, whether top to bottom or bottom to top, right? If you hit key, it'll give you all of your keys. Oh, wait a minute. It'll give you all of your keys in order, right? If you do it by artist, it'll put all your artists together. Um, the way to add them and take them away is this little box in the corner. You have added, album, artist, bitrate, BPM, comments, composer, file name, genre, grouping, key, label, length, location, remixer, sample, rate, size, track, all that good stuff, year. So let's say I wanted to add year. I'd hit that. And in the back, year would be added, right? Now, if I took year, I could click on it and drag it to whatever location I wanted to put it, right? Um, right now, I'm going to get rid of year because that doesn't matter to me much. Uh, get rid of comment. I'm going to get rid of album and put genre. Okay. So another thing that I like to do for my playlist is um, build a smart crate that will go ahead and put all of my keys together as I load songs in here. And you'll see how this works in a second. So you come up here, you press smart crate, add rule, and then you come down here, key is, and we're going to go, mm, flat major, okay, enter, or save, it pops up, I'm going to double click on it, name it, and now, as you add music to your library, any song that gets analyzed and it comes up as this, it will go into this playlist. Uh, the reason why that matters is that, let's say you've come to a point where your creativity has like, you know, reached a climax or whatever. You cannot go in, uh, buy the key, put it in BPM and you're gonna see all the different genres and every song that you possibly could have um, in that note here in this one playlist and if you know if you don't know playing in key means uh, the root key of the song is a certain note and every song that's built in that key typically blend together really well um, you know, keys that are a part of a chord that all sound harmonic. Any of the keys in that chord will sound good mixed together. That goes a lot deeper, something you should look into. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep building my smart crates. And yeah, that's how you do it. So I have it by key. So the next one is B. So smart crate, add rule, Q, 
key is B. Save. Name it. So the good thing about doing this is that after you do this for all the keys, you never have to do it again and it will constantly just upload your new songs into the crate. 